Hey guys, what's up? It's Autobot Mike 18 here with some pretty big and pretty exciting controversial movie news that I have to share with you guys today in this video. Uh, guys, we've been getting a bunch of uh, movie news re regarding some really highly anticipated upcoming movies, um, and I'm going to share a bunch of stuff with you guys in this video. I mean, this morning, my, uh, my Facebook and my Twitter feed has just been going crazy with all these different updates. And I would like to talk about several bits of uh, news in the filmmaking industry that broke out in the last few days. And some of it's shocking, some of it's surprising, some of it's maybe a little upsetting to some of you, some of it's causing massive controversy, and uh, I'm going to discuss most of it in the video, guys. So, um... Yeah, I know I haven't done like a movie news video in so long. It's just, I don't know what it is. I guess there just hasn't been anything big that, you know, anything in terms of big news that is uh, broken out. But uh, today, wow, we got some big news today. That's all I have to say. So, guys, I have several bits of news. I mean, obviously, the main thing I'm going to be talking about in the video is the uh, the new casting for um, Man of Steel 2, uh, Batman vs. Superman. Uh, that's obviously the big thing, but I also have several other news stories I would like to share with you in regards to movies. So, obviously the first biggest news, uh, bit of news, is the two casting roles that they just announced for the upcoming uh, Man of Steel sequel, uh, Batman vs. Superman. At first it was called Man of Steel 2, now it's Batman vs. Superman as we know. Now, as we all know, in the movie we have Henry Cavill reprising his role as Superman, Ben Affleck was cast as Batman back in August. Recently, in December, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, however you say her last name, she's from the Fast and Furious movies, she was cast as Wonder Woman in uh, Batman vs. Superman. And now we have two huge cast assignments that were announced this morning and let me I want to show you guys my original reaction I'm gonna reenact my original reaction to hearing this news I was in shock uh, I didn't go on Facebook you know this morning it was like this afternoon it was like one in the afternoon uh, it was Friday this Friday today and um, I I, uh, I looked online and they released the new poster for Captain America the Winter Soldier and I got really excited for it so I sent the picture to my one of my best friends and he sent a text message back to me uh, with a link to an article online and it revealed who was cast as Lex Luthor in Batman vs Superman and I read the article and I was shocked to find out that it was Jesse Eisenberg Je that's right Jesse Eisenberg has been cast as Lex Luthor in Batman vs Superman and another uh, casting information in regards to uh, Batman vs Superman uh, Jeremy Irons has been cast as Alfred Pennyworth and when I read the article and when I found out it was Jesse Eisenberg there, here was my initial reaction Try to have my phone in my hand what? what are they doing? Jesse Eisenberg. That was my initial reaction this morning when I read my friend's text message and when I read that article. Wow. I was in utter shock. And I know some people are pissed. As soon as I found this out, I literally went on Facebook. I went on Twitter. I went on everywhere online. And I had been reading everything and people's comments on, on this news. People are pissed. The fanboys are ready to start rioting. I mean, I think everybody who is a major fanboy and cannot wait for this movie to actually happen. Uh, uh, finally, we're going to get a movie with Batman and Superman. I think everyone who is looking forward to this movie who is a fanboy of the comics, you know, the DC comics, I think everyone is literally livid at this news that Jesse Eisenberg has been cast as Lex Luthor. Um... Wow. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this. As you can tell, when I first heard this information, I was utterly shocked. Because out of anyone to, to you know, that they could pick to play Lex Luthor, would anyone have guessed that they would have picked Jesse Eisenberg to play him? I'm, I'm, I, you know what? I'm not saying it's a bad idea. When I first heard that, I, the, the first thought that came to my head is there is no way in hell I could picture Jesse Eisenberg playing Lex Luthor. I just can't do it. Now, granted... With that being said, I haven't read the, 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 the DC comics. I've never read the Batman and the Superman comics, so I don't know um, how what what's the best actor choice 
what? Who's the best actor they could uh, pick to play Lex Luthor, who's working in Hollywood now? I didn't know who that best choice would be, but everyone either wanted Brian Cranston or Mark Strong. Those were the two main choices. So you know, I went online and I saw that everyone wanted Brian Cranston and uh, or Mark Strong, or there were a couple other choices. But uh, when when I first heard that people wanted Brian Cranston, I said to myself, you know what? That's not a bad idea, actually. I could I could have actually pictured Brian Cranston with no hair playing Lex Luthor fighting Batman and Superman. Yeah, I see that happening. But um, yeah. and then when I heard that Jesse Eisenberg got cast, I said to myself, wait. wait we said Heisenberg, not Eisenberg. You screwed it up. We, we wanted Brian Cranston, a.k.a. Eisenberg, to play Lex Luthor, not Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> you get what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I think a lot of people wanted Cranston and Mark Strong. I preferably would have gone with Cranston because, obviously, I loved him in Breaking Bad. I would have loved to see him and see what he, he could have done as Lex Luthor. He's also been in a couple of good movies. So, you know, I would have loved, I would not have minded seeing Brian Cranston being cast. But anyway, getting back to Jesse Eisenberg, Brian Cranston. Cranston did not get cast as Lex Luthor. Jesse Eisenberg did. My thoughts. Well, first off, as I said when when they announced that Ben Affleck got cast, I didn't. I wasn't mad. I wasn't happy. I was just in the middle because I don't know how good of a job Ben Affleck's going to do as Batman. You know, Ben Affleck is a great actor, and I know he's going to do a good give a good acting performance. I know he's going to give a good performance. But I just don't know how he's going to be able to pull off Batman, you know, with a serious voice and all that. I don't know how he's going to do that. Same thing with Jesse Eisenberg. I don't know how he's going to pull off the sinister Lex Luthor, you know? Um, I, I just don't know how he's going to do it. Obviously, they're going to shave his head. But I think the main complaint that people have with this news that Jesse Eisenberg was cast is that he's too young. And looking back, yeah, I would agree with that. You know, I've seen pictures of the Lex Luthor from the comics. He's not that young. You know, Jesse Eisenberg is a young kid. He's got to be about somewhere in his 30s, maybe maybe a little younger than that. I, I know. I think that's the main reason why the fanboys are upset, and that's probably one reason why I'm not that impressed either. Jesse Eisenberg is a little too young for Lex Luthor. Um, that's one reason why. Um... I don't know. That's just, uh, that is one gripe, and I would agree with that. I think he is a little too young to be playing Lex Luthor because, I mean, I, I'm judging my, my thoughts on Lex Luthor based off of the, the shitty Superman Returns with, with Kevin Spacey. I thought Kevin Spacey did a great job. But, and, you know, Jesse Eisenberg just, I don't know. Uh, now, without a doubt, I think he's going to give a good performance. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg is, without a doubt, an amazing actor. I've seen him pull off really good performances. He was out outstanding in the social network and he's been in some other really good movies as well so without a doubt he's going to give a good performance but the question is how is he going to pull off Lex Luthor and I'm not going to say that I'm upset with this choice and I'm not going to say that it was a stupid choice until I see a trailer and I said the same thing with Ben Affleck being cast as Batman I am not going to say anything until I see both of them in the trailer until I see a first set photo of him with no hair and I, you know, I want to see him in the costume and everything. I want to see how he looks as Lex Luthor and I want to see a set photo, uh, uh, an official image and the trailer and then I will make my decision as to what I think on Jesse Eisner being cast as Lex Luthor. So that's all I'm going to say about that. What do you guys think about Jesse Eisenberg being cast as Lex Luthor? I know a lot of you are very upset about that. A lot of people feel DC is not going in the right direction. Uh, first, people and people are still upset about Ben Affleck, and now they're even more upset about Jesse Eisenberg. This is causing some actually. This is causing some major, uh, um, you know, not revolt, but you know, some major upsets uh, amongst the fans. Uh, it really is. So uh, I don't know how this is all going to turn out, but uh, they. You, just, you better hope that DC is going to pull off an amazing trailer that's going to suck everybody in, because right now, people are pissed. Um, so yeah, I'm not mad that Eisenberg was cast as Lex Luthor. I, prefer, I preferably would have gone with Brian Cranston, but they went with uh, Jesse Eisenberg, so I we have to see how he's going to do. I'm not going to give any thoughts on, any official thoughts on that until I see trailer. And Jeremy Irons as uh, Alfred, um, I guess that's fine. I 
have probably seen him in a few movies. Uh, I, I'm fine with that. I guess he, you know, he's old, obviously, to play that role. He's old enough to play that role. Uh, I think he'll, I think he would probably do a good job. Uh, I really have no major complaints with that. And like I said, no really big complaints so far with Jesse Eisenberg because I just I haven't seen a trailer yet. And I think people should hold off on on you know the the complaining until we get a trailer, uh, which could not be till the end of this year or maybe the beginning of next year mid next year depends when they're actually releasing the movie because it was pushed back 2016 now they're saying it might come back in 2015 we don't know so uh i don't know but anyway guys moving on i'm going to move on from that more movie news um they released uh, six new Captain America the Winter Soldier posters. I'm going to leave a link to these articles of these news stories down below in the description, guys, if you want to click on these articles. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to the Captain America Winter Soldier posters. They're, they're pretty badass. They released one with, with uh, Chris Evans, Samuel Jackson, Scar Johansson, and, and then they have a pretty uh, badass background. They got the Winter Soldier in the background. They have, uh, I think, one of the Hellcare. I think the Hellcare is in the background. Hold on. Let me see if I can... Here we go. Yeah, the Hell Carrier's in the background. It, it looks pretty badass. Robert Redford's there. Uh, there is some pretty cool new posters, so I'll leave a link down below. I want you guys to check that out. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome. Also, guys... Um, in terms of movie news, in, in regards uh, talking about Marvel and uh, Captain America, they announced that they were going to make uh, sequel, uh, two sequels to Thor and Captain America. So they're making a Captain America 3 and a Thor 3. Uh, that's crazy. Marvel is getting really... Uh, not power hungry, but you know they're 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 making a lot. You know uh, they're making a lot of sequels, which is fine. I have no problem with that. I would not have a problem with seeing another Thor movie, another Captain America movie. I'm very much I'm pleased with that. I'll be fine with that. Fine, make the, make those franchises into a trilogy. I would be very happy with that. So we're getting a Thor three and a Captain America three. And here's the interesting thing: we got Avengers two um, coming out in 2015. Uh, we got Ant Man, and then I think I guess Phase Three is going to be uh, Thor Three and Captain America Three, which will come out. Um, excuse me, uh, July. Uh, they're saying 2016. Uh, they have they announced three release dates: um, May 6, 2016, July 8, 2016, and May 5, 2017. So I guess. Two of those dates will be for Thor 3 and Captain America 3, and another one for another Marvel movie. Maybe we'll finally get a Hulk movie. That's what, I mean, it's it's cool that they make a Thor 3 and a Captain America 3, but I would love to see a Hulk movie with Mark Ruffalo. That would be very nice to see. I mean, um... Uh, I mean, but I'm still fine with a Thor 3 and a Captain America 3. If they go ahead and try to make a fourth film, I think they might be overdoing it there. But I would definitely, without a doubt, go see a Thor 3 and a Captain America 3. I love Thor The Dark World. I can't wait to go see The Winter Soldier. So I'm definitely looking forward to those two films. Uh, but like I said, come on, let's get an incredible Hulk film here. Another Hulk film with Mark Ruffalo. That would be very nice to see. Um for a phase three and then they could do a third avengers film and then they might stop it at there or they might keep going i don't know so um yeah so that's another bit of news again i'll leave a link to that article down below and i do have uh also another big uh news announcement that was revealed uh also today early in the morning uh apparently they want to make a uh gambit movie I don't know if it's going to be a solo Gambit movie. You know Gambit from the X-Men. Uh, you guys may remember Gambit. He, uh, if you watch, if you haven't read the comics, you don't know who Gambit is, uh, like me. Um, X-Men Origins Wolverine, Taylor Kitsch played Gambit in that movie, which I know a lot of people try to forget. But, uh, yeah, I actually do remember reading some of the X-Men comics when I was a kid. You know, like I bought the toys and you know, the comics come that came with them. And I do remember reading about Gambit, you know, in one of the comics. Uh, in the X-Men comics, and um, so they do want to make a, I, I guess, a solo Gambit movie or another X-Men movie with Gambit in it, I guess he's going to be a major character, so that's pretty cool, but they also announced who could possibly play Gambit, or who wants to play Gambit in uh, uh, the, the future X-Men movie. Apparently, Channing Tatum wants to play Gambit in a future X-Men movie, or j the solo Gambit film, whatever it's going to be, I don't know yet. Um, that is, uh, I don't know. 
from what I remember, Channing Tatum is really built, and I, I mean, I guess it would be a good choice. He's really built, um, and this is kind of going back to what I said about Jesse Eisenberg. He looks too young. Channing Tatum looks, you know, he's not, he's built, and I don't think Gambit is that muscular. From what I have seen of Gambit, in my opinion, I feel he's not that muscular. I don't know, that's just one of my, you know, not complaints, but that's just how I feel about that. Um... I, I don't know, but uh, well, we gotta wait. Like I said, I'm waiting for a trailer. Uh, I'm not gonna make any judgments until I see a trailer uh, for uh, uh, that movie, which could be I God knows how long it could take to get a trailer for uh, a new Gambit movie. Whenever that's even coming out, uh, they just said that they possibly want to make a Gambit movie, and if they do, are going to make one, Channing Tatum would want to play Gambit. So. Um, That'd be pretty cool. I would like a movie uh, showing all about Gambit. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, that would be... I would definitely go see that. But uh, Channing Tatum, I guess, is a good choice. He is a good actor. He's given good performances before. But the uh, same thing that people are saying about uh, Gal Gadot and Wonder Woman. You know, it's kind of the same thing. They feel that she's not, you know, muscular enough to play Wonder Woman. You know, she's not big enough to play Wonder Woman. Same kind of... Kind of the opposite thing with Channing Tatum playing Gambit. I think he's too built, uh, but that's just how I feel. So uh, that's basically all the big movie news. Obviously, the biggest one there is um, Jesse Eisenberg being cast as Lex Luthor. Like I said, just feels a little too young, but uh, only time will tell. Now, guys, in terms of movie trailers, I actually wanted to uh, uh, talk about a few new movie trailers that were released. Uh, they released two trailers for two movies that I definitely want to see because I watched both of them. Uh, one of them is A Million Ways to Die in the West, starring, um, uh, directed by Seth MacFarlane, starring Seth MacFarlane. You got uh, Liam Neeson, Amanda Seyfried in that movie. It is Seth MacFarlane's second directorial debut. He just directed Ted in 2012, as we all know. And I'm definitely looking forward to this movie. At first I wasn't, but then I watched the trailer and I said to myself, holy crap, this movie looks funny as hell. Seth MacFarlane, as we all know, creator family guy. He's a funny guy. Uh, I definitely can't wait to see what he does with that. So the, that trailer is out. The Red Band trailer is out. I'll leave a link to it down below. Also, they released the trailer for a film called... I think it's called The Fault in the Stars. A Fault... No, The Fault in the Stars. Uh, yeah, The Fault... No, The Fault in Our Stars. Uh, it stars Shailene Woodley, who is actually pretty hot in Hollywood right now. She's been in a few recent movies. And uh, it's this... Um, I guess it's an indie uh, romantic drama, and it looks pretty good. I watched the trailer for it. It was based off a book, apparently. I've never read the book, obviously, but the uh, the movie itself looks... Uh, the trailer itself was pretty cool. It's coming out in June. I'm looking forward to it because I like independent filmmaking, and uh, I like Shailene Woodley as well. She uh, is really... She's good. She was good in The Descendants. Uh, I didn't see The Spectacular now yet, but I, I will watch that soon. And uh, so that looks, that looks cool. I guess I do want to watch that as well. It'll be a nice little romantic drama that comes out, a, a deep drama that comes out in June, you know, during the summer movie craze. And finally, <clears throat> they released another trailer today for Dennis Villanueva's new film that I haven't watched yet. I'm not going to watch it yet because I, I, I want to, you know, you know, have a, um, you know, I want to sit down somewhere and I want to process the trailer. Um, it, his new film is called Enemy. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And why I'm so excited about this is because Dennis Villanueva directed Prisoners, one of my favorite films of last year. That's also one of my favorite films of all time now after I'd seen it. And him and Jake Gyllenhaal are teaming up again for this new film called Enemy. Haven't watched the trailer yet, but I will watch it, uh, like I said, when I get time to watch it. So anyway, guys, uh, that's basically it for movie news. Like I said, I haven't done a movie news video in a while, so here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... Sorry for the fact this video is way over 18 minutes, but I had a lot to discuss, as we can all tell, with this Jesse Eisenberg news and Gambit news and um, all this uh, Marvel news with Thor 3 and Captain America 3. Some, some pretty big news that was real today in Hollywood. Uh, pretty big and interesting news, so only time will tell. So guys, let me know down below what you think of all of these news updates. I'm curious to know what you guys have to say about all of it. And also, guys, the Super Bowl is this Sunday. I want you guys to let me know down below in the comments also, what is your most highly anticipated TV spot for the Super Bowl? For me, it's Transformers 4, Age of Extinction. Excuse me. I cannot wait to see some 
actual footage for this movie on Sunday. I will freak out like a little fanboy, and I can't wait for it. Also, we're going to get trailers, I think, for Captain America, another one. I think we're going to get one for Noah, Amazing Spider-Man 2. We might get one for X-Men Days of Future Past. We should, actually, another one. Uh, we might get a couple other ones, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. But what is your most highly anticipated TV spot for Super Bowl Sunday, this Sunday? So, guys, let me know about all that down below in the comments. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.